In this video, I'll be using the following parts. The 3D printed components, you can get the files for these from our website, linear shafts and bearings, NEMA 17 stepper motor, flex coupler, quarter inch by 20 threaded rod cut to 200 millimeters in length, the corresponding nut, M3 flathead screws, and lastly, a two millimeter Allen wrench and a hardened steel file. Start this assembly by taking the push block and removing any excess support material on the internal surfaces. Then, insert the hex nut into the rectangular slot at the base of the block. Next, insert the linear bearings. Set the push block aside. Clean up any excess support material on the internal surfaces of the chassis. Insert the linear shafts into the chassis like this. and pass them through the linear bearing guides. The shafts will be loose in the chassis and will be secured into place with the motor later. Let's get the drivetrain assembled. Get the motor, the flex coupler, threaded rod, allen wrench, and the M3 flathead screws. Connect the coupler to the motor shaft and insert the threaded rod into the other end. I removed material from one end of the threaded rod using a hardened steel file. It doesn't need to be perfect. Thread the rod through the hex nut inside of the push block. Make sure to extend it a few centimeters through the other end so that the motor can mate to the rear face of the chassis. Fasten the motor to the chassis using the flathead screws. It's almost done. Now get the syringe adapter and place the flat side into the notch at the front of the pump. It's now ready to fit the proper size syringe. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Now that you've successfully assembled the syringe pump, it's time to watch our next video on how the electronics are connected.